Hello friends, this video on respiration in organisms part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So during exhalation, the diaphragm muscles expand. So just the opposite of what had happened during inhalation. So now when these muscles expand, so this is our normal diaphragm. Now when it starts expanding, it becomes all the more like this. So it actually tends to go upwards. So it is pulled up. So you see, when it is pulled up, what is going to happen? The volume of the thoracic cavity will decrease because now it is pushed up. So on the top or within this thoracic cavity, there is less space available. So the thoracic cavity will contract. When the thoracic cavity contracts, the lungs will also contract. So when, so if initially this was the lung, so now it becomes like this. Therefore, what happens? The volume inside the lungs will decrease. Again, we know that volume and pressure are inversely proportional. So if volume decreases, pressure will increase. So pressure inside the lungs increases. Now when pressure inside the lungs increases, what happens? Air tends to flow from region of higher pressure to region of lower pressure therefore air starts flowing from the lungs to outside and this happens during exhalation now when do we do this inhalation and when do we do exhalation inhalation we have to do first so that oxygen is made available to the uh, cells of the body now when the cells undergo respiration then what happens carbon dioxide is produced as a result of respiration so inside the cells so oxygen is breathed in, it is provided to the cells. Now inside the cell they undergo respiration and one of the byproduct of respiration is carbon dioxide. So this carbon dioxide is present in the cells or in the tissues and from here it glows to the blood vessels, maybe the capillaries and from the blood vessels it goes to the alveoli and from alveoli it comes to the alveoli is basically present inside the lungs and from lungs it goes to the outside so this is the process that takes place in exhalation so what i explained is how this part happens how the air goes out and why the air goes out from lungs to outside this is because of the pressure difference so pressure inside the lungs is more due to the movement of the diaphragm so the main part which is responsible for this mechanical process of breathing is the diaphragm because it is due to the movement of the diaphragm that the volume inside the lungs changes because of which pressure inside the lungs changes and therefore the movement of the air takes place accordingly so here also you can see uh, during exhalation the diaphragm being pulled up and therefore contraction of the lungs take place so now another important question is we have been talking about breathing so much we have been talking about breathing in breathing out but sometimes you might be wondering what exactly are we breathing out now i have been telling you since that time that it is nothing but carbon dioxide so we are take breathing in oxygen and we are breathing out carbon dioxide but that is something which i am telling you how are you supposed to believe that yes it is carbon dioxide which is being breathed up so for that we can perform a very simple experiment and you know when i talk about this experiment you'll remember of uh, one of our previous lessons in chemistry where we have learned about this property of carbon dioxide now what do you do is you take a glass fill it with lime water what is lime water we all know calcium hydroxide so it when mixed with water that forms the lime water so take this lime water solution and what do you do take a straw just breathe out through that straw and what do you observe you observe that the lime water turns milky so here you have lime water in this glass and when you breathe out so you are actually breathing out through the straw so whichever gas let us assume that we do not know which gas is this whichever gas is enters into the lime water it reacts with the lime water and turns it milky now can you guess which gas this could be a gas that turns lime water milky is nothing but carbon dioxide so what actually happens inside is the 
lime water which was nothing but calcium hydroxide when it reacts with carbon dioxide it forms calcium carbonate and this calcium carbonate has a milky appearance so due to the formation of calcium carbonate this lime water turns milky so with this experiment we can prove that we breathe out carbon dioxide and we breathe in oxygen so this is one simple experiment to prove in fact you can carry this experiment out at your home also thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again